What I do is I usually post this first, first leg here like this and I just simply spread it out. When you get about here, even though it looks like it's spread out, it's not spread out far enough. You want more stability. Our design is to load the three legs. So what you simply do, it's sometimes a little bit awkward guys, but be patient. With one foot, lift that up and allow your, allow your legs to slowly just fall down. Now you have about a 10 and a half foot diameter, which is very stable for your camera systems. Once you have the tripod set up for the above the field sports cams elite HD system, simply open up the locking mechanism on the quick release on top by pushing these two together and opening it up until you hear an audible click in order to accept the pan tilt head and camera unit. First, tripod's up, your bail's open. Take the sleeve that comes with your system to protect your pole with the eye bolts and put it on top of the collar from the bottom of the collar. Just position it there, we'll be using that later. Secondly, you open up the case and you'll find the camera unit with the pan tilt head, like this. Make sure you remove the lens cap. This is the pan tilt head. You want to turn the switch to the right from off to manual and you'll see the green light indicating that the battery or that it's running. There's four batteries in the front of it. We provide four extra ones. Typically they need to be changed every third or fourth football game. And that's your pan tilt head. You take the interface cable that we provide, go to the side, side door of the camera, open that up, You'll see on this connection, on the single connection, multi, and you want to match that with the multi in the camera and plug it in like that. Next, you're ready to place the camera on top of the mast. I use the case to stand on, simply go up on the case. You can get a couple inches of height here if you need to. You simply fit the quick release into the dovetail of the quick release and that switch will automatically lock. Now it's locked into position and it's secured. Next, I take the umbilical cord out of the bag that we provide for its storage out of the bag. When storing this cable, there's fiber optic cables in this and you need to be careful not to crimp them or anything. So we provide this bag so you can simply loosely wind it up like this. Nice big loops when you're done or pulling it out and just simply set it inside the bag for storage. But I'll take this out now and you find the carabiner It'll be at the top of the mast and find that end of the umbilical cord. Let that drop. I use my case again to get on top to add height and I simply clamp into the swivel on top of the mast. I take the pan tilt control cable which you can tell by the connection that it has there is a pattern to that that fits only one way. There's a dimple at the bottom of the cable to indicate the down position orientation to the tilt head. And I simply plug that in. I then take the Sony control, remote control cable, and I plug it in to the receiving end of that cable. I take your yellow video cable and I plug it in to the RCA receiving end of that cable. Then I go to my case, open it up, pull out the monitor. This is your rain jacket for your for your system, but we just simply put the monitor inside of it. It's polymer, waterproof, guaranteed. Set the monitor there. I take this swivel clamp this clamp out. 
Just simply undo it. Now we're using this sleeve. I take and I clamp this around the sleeve just like this. You might have to loosen it a little bit. Now you can tighten this all the way up. This clamp is designed to always be a larger diameter than your, than your mast. You will not hurt the mast and yet it's still mobile. At the bottom of the monitor there's a quarter 20 thread that screws directly onto the swivel. Finger tighten. Now, finger tighten the bottom nub and that tightens up your monitor. You find the video, the video cable. There's only three connections at the top and three connections at the bottom. You cannot plug it in the wrong place. They're all different female and male receivers and ends and connections. Take the video, plug it into the back of your monitor. And I take the Sony remote, you recognize this, this is what controls the camera. Plug in the Sony link cable or, link, or Sony remote control into the link cable provided. Now I'll pull out our joystick control which controls your pan tilt head. And again, you'll see the pattern on the on these ends that will marry you that will fit together correctly. And simply plug that in. Now we're ready to test our system. Just close the case, put it somewhere safe. On the back of your monitor, I'll, I'll turn this around here to show you. There's an on and off switch. Simply turn it on, move your monitor where you want, hit your power button, and you'll notice it's a blue screen. With your Sony remote link cable, or Sony remote, on the side there's a gray switch. Simply pull that down and you'll hear an audible sound from your camera. This is just testing and now you'll have an image. Your pan tilt head is controlled by this handheld remote control. It's important to know that our cameras have a floating lens. So when I shake the pole, it's minimal movement in your image. It floats. So there might be a short delay when using a remote in a windy situation. It'll catch up to each other. But you have your zoom control here on tight. The T stands for tight on your Sony control. W stands for wide to pan all the way out or to widen all the way out. You have your video button that when you hit that button, this will from, go from orange to red. Stop the recording. This takes stills. You can watch the monitor as I hit the button and you see it kind of shake. That's taking a still picture. To shut the system off, there's your power button. You do not have to power the camera on. We preset it so it can be off the power button is all controlled off of your remote control, like that. There's a little bit of a delay, so don't, right away, if you, if you try to hit it up and down right away, you're not gonna see anything. Now I wanna turn it back on, now it's back on, and there's a slight delay there, be patient. Now that we're done testing, you raise the mast. I just take the case again, make sure the cables are out of the way and clear. I just usually lay those there. I go ahead and I, I move the monitor over to the side because you don't want to bump it and break that. I go to the top section of your mast, simply hand over hand all the way up until it stops. Rotate slightly to make sure that you're on the top. And once you're there, once it's stopped, then rotate again and let down and it will lock into place. Take your second section, repeat those steps. 
Okay. Rotate, make sure it's all the way up. Rotate, make sure it's locked into place. You can take the carabiner that we supply, attach the umbilical cord to the side so if you have any wind it controls the, the, the cord a little a little more. Take your last session section, raise it. Twist, set down, and your mast is fully extended. Once your tripod is folded up, you need to make sure that the bail is closed. And how you do that is you simply you see this button here, push the bail a little bit, push that down, and it'll close the bail so it doesn't break off in the custom case.